Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Alice and today I'll be showing you guys how to make this made inspired wall art that is by Tom Pigeon and is currently going for around £49 but I'm gonna use polystyrene to make it. So let's get started. For this DIY you're gonna need a ruler, a crafty knife, or a pair of scissors, hot glue sticks, hot glue gun, and I've got these few pieces of polystyrene that I'm going to use. Since the kind of polystyrene that I have are in few pieces, I'm going to go ahead and glue together three pieces to come up with a rectangle shape. But depending on what type of polystyrene you've got, you might not need to do this, you might just need to cut them into size or something like that. For the second part of this wall art, I'm going to go ahead and glue together two pieces of polystyrene to come up with a smaller rectangle shape. So for the third piece of the wall art, I'm going to go ahead and glue together two pieces of polystyrene and cut out a round shape out of it. Just use a round object that you've got. I'm using this which is about 8 inches and just using a pencil to trace to trace out the shape and a crafty knife to just cut out the round circle if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe for weekly videos And then I'm going to use part of the leftover to come up with a straight thin piece which is going to be our fourth piece for this DIY. This one is approximately um, nine and a half inches so just shape it out as straight as you can. You should end up with four pieces, one round and two rectangle shape and a thin straight line piece for the thin strip we're gonna paint it uh, gold so I'm using this antique gold uh, paint that I got from Poundland you might need to do this like four to five times before you know you come up with something like this we're going to paint the round shape um, a light shade of pink so we're going to mix white and a little bit of red color to come up with that shade and then just go ahead and paint the round shape and then you might have to I did this like five times I think before you know I was happy with the result for the third piece which is the small rectangle we're going to go ahead and mix white and a little bit of blue and yellow to come up with this kind of a teal color um, you might have to repeat this like four to five times again to come up with the results that you wanted you, I mean you don't have to stick to this color that I'm using you can use whatever colors you want to use depending on your color scheme you don't have to paint the back of it because it will be covered it will be on top of another one for the final page we're gonna mix a uh, blue yellow and red and more of white to come up with a grey shed 
So just do the same as what we've done with the previous one. And whatever you do, don't use paint on this polystyrene because it kind of reacts with it and you won't like the results. So you might need to just stick to acrylic paint or any liquid paint that you've got to do this. So this is how your four pieces should look like and I've got the pink, uh, the gold, grey and the kind of teal colour. So I'm just going to go ahead and glue them together to have that 3D kind of effect. So you're going to start with the grey one at the bottom followed by the teal one on top of it and then the round one should be just between the grey and the teal colour one. So. And this is our looks on the side and then put the gold strip at the bottom once all the pieces have been glued together this is what it should look like So this is how the final wall art look like. I am very pleased with it and I've placed it in my dining area and I think it kind of gives the whole place a new vibe. So if you like this DIY don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also you can subscribe to my channel which I will be doing videos every single week. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.